How you doing everybody? Randy Richard in the shop. This will be a short video today. A little bit of machining in it. Built the tailstock uh, digital readout uh, in the similar fashion that I did the way one. And uh, we're going to spin you around. Show you what I built. A little bit of uh, making action in the uh, video. Not a lot. Because it's very similar to the uh, way one. Just some uh, different angles and... Uh, but a little bit different design. So let me swing you around and let's take a look at it. I don't really know what it is. It sure looks like a nice chunk of steel. Uh, I got this uh, from a viewer, uh, Larry Bastion, and from, he's from California. He lives up by Ray Goff, actually. This is kind of build as you go a little bit. Let's see what we come up with. Almost cuts like a chunk of chrome molly. Well, it's nice. I'm not going to turn the outside down at all, really. Uh, I'm gonna use that outside diameter. I'm going to put a hole big enough for this to fit right over to fit over the quill. This is the one for the what the for the ways. It's going to be very similar. I just set this one on there and go, oh, look at that. That, that just about works. Uh, <laughs> so what I'm going to do is I'm going to match this so it fits on this corner real nice like that so it's out of the way of this. And have that scale so I can read it similar to this. It'll be a little different angle, more up like that. And then we'll have a, a ring. And I'm going to put a piece of quarter inch cold roll in there mount that in the ring and then the magnet will just stick to the steel and that's just going to stick out here I'm probably going to use a little larger magnet and that way I don't have anything magnetic it'll just stick to the steel I think it should be enough and have a ring that goes around here Saves on gas. Saves on gas. Don't get run over by a crazy. Yeah. God. Who's that? God. So many people getting. Everybody. It's gets all country roads. Road. So like, I mean, it's like farm roads to get yeah. to the hangar and back. Yeah. I am. So I mean, that's good. Yeah. Cause it cost me forty bucks driving. At least. Oh, when you're up there. Yeah. Yeah. Did you do a lot of driving around, or? Yeah, well, you gotta. I mean, 
After work, you go to the store, you know, and drive to work and back. I'm going with five eighths of an inch. It'll fit right on the end of the quill and I can still remove all my tools. There we go. Oh yeah. Perfect. I was about half thousandths over my target, but that'll be just fine. We're gonna end up splitting this, putting a locking screw in here, and uh, so we can it'll clamp right on there. So Larry, this is nice stuff. I'll take a few slugs of that, that's for sure. It's a nice material. Machine's nice. So we'll, uh, we'll just go right on there, just perfect. And we'll be able to mount right there on the end and still knock off to the
the Don Cossett fly cutter. As you remember, here's the uh, weigh scale, slips on, attaches, double magnet, ready to go. Pretty simple. Here's the ring we just made. Nice shape to it, very aesthetically pleasing, I think. I uh, machined it so that this is, that would, made this a size, so this would come here and thin this out worked out quite well that way clamping forces are a little easier being uh, being thinner like that we have our 1030 tooth uh, screw in here this is just I, mi I milled a slot in here made a triangular shaped piece set it in there welded it in 
This goes on. This is 5 eighths of an inch thick. It does not use up any uh, any space as far as for interference. When you crank it back, it still knock out my center, the screw hits, and and the chucks. This just slips on, slipping into position. Tighten it up, and you're good. Turn them on. You're ready to roll. Doesn't get much better than that. Nice little riding surface. Clearance uh, for your lock, which it locks back this direction. I also have a dial on my on the spindle, and your scale on your quill. We have about three three and a half inches of uh, uh, good usable travel there. Pretty much uh, from the one inch mark is when you have a drill in there. That's uh, at the point it will knock the drill out. Oops. Zero it. And I think about three and a half here. There's three and a half. And you can go a little bit more. So three, three, three and three quarters, and then it. it at 3.885 uh, it, it disconnects. Pretty sweet little rig. Nice thing about it, when you don't need it, it's out of the way. Both of them. Thanks you guys, and thanks for watching. Please subscribe, order a dovetail cutter, support the channel, order a scribe, support the channel, and I will appreciate it. Thank you.